Is that the same in Kenya? Yes. Okay, did you know this list before uh, the Garissa attacks? Did you have the list? Did you, have, did Which you know list? the people? The list of shame? No, the, no. The people who are supporting... No, the, only the, only, the only list that I have is the one that I tabled called the list of shame. But I, let, let me interject. I think uh, you need to give credit to, you know, Duale and uh, the leaders from northern Kenya. Immediately when this event in Garissa happened, which everybody knows was very unfortunate, they came out to say that, you know, took full responsibility. I think they took full political responsibility and said that, you know, this occurred in our constituencies, this occurred in northern Kenya. As leaders, we take full responsibility and we take upon ourselves a program where we will bring out, you know, the main financiers, the main culprits. How many of these young boys are out in the country? And uh, that's, I think, why they took that. I think it's very important that and people don't acknowledge it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why. And, 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 uh, before, before you finish, yes, I've just come back from Mandera this afternoon. Correct. We were two days in Garissa, two days in Wajia, two days in Mandera, talking to stakeholders, talking to religious leaders, so they can come out and give a narrative to the contrary of what the propaganda Al Shabaab is giving. Mm. We have talked to the chiefs, we have talked to the women, and we have got a lot of information where parents are saying we have got information. But where do we take it? And these are the reports that we want to share with okay. government. But f more fundamentally, yes. as Ahmed said, the matter of terror in our country, that question should not be trivialized, should not be name calling. Mm. It's not about Duale. Duale resigned, you say, would that end Al Shabaab? 